Hi, welcome back to the channel again and today I'll discuss about the issue linking in Jira. In the first half of the video, I'll tell you how you can make the relationship between two Jira issues with the help of issue linking and then I will go forward to the admin setting where you can see how you can activate and deactivate this issue linking type and how you can create, add it and delete them. And I will talk about how you can reorder your issue link in Jira with the help of a small setting of Jira. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. We will come to our Jira Cloud instance. This is my Jira Cloud instance and under this I have a project development. In the development project, I can take any of the issue. Let's suppose I am taking this dev 1e2 and here I will tell you how you can make the relationship between two issues. In just below the summary here you can see I have an option to link issues when you will click then click on the link issue and here you will find a option to link your issues and here these are the issue links type is block by block is cloned by and many more we have here let's suppose I want to block this issue and I can search any of the issues let's suppose uh, with the dev 190 and then i can click on the link so like this you can see dev 182 is link with the dev 192 and the link issue type is block it means this dev 182 will block the dev 190 this is how you can make the relation and if you want to make more relation then here you can see we have this plus icon click on this and you will make the relationship with the other issues let's suppose this particular issue will be blocked by the another issue which is dev 187 something like that and then click on the link this is the way you can do it now we will move to the jira admin setting where you can see about the issue linking like where you can activate and deactivate this and here when you will go to this cog icon and jira setting and click on the issues then in the left side bar just scroll down and under the issue feature this is a issue linking you will click and this particular screen will open in my previous video i talked about the time tracking if you haven't watched that yet then please go and watch it you will find the link of that video in my description box and in the jira admin playlist so you can go and check it what is time tracking and how you can enable it and do the various settings related to the time tracking now come to the issue linking here and you can see we have the name outward description and the inward description and action like we can add it and we can delete so the issue linking comes with the three properties name of the issue link type the outward description and the inward description here you can see we have the outward description and the inward description. So what is the meaning of the inward description and the outward description? Outward description means how the particular issue will affect the other issues and the inward description means how the other issues will affect that particular issue. Here I will also suggest you to go through the documentation which is available on the Atlassian Support Center. You will find the lot of uh, good information here and the one thing that i want to tell you when i was explaining how you can make a relationship between two issues you can perform this action only if you have the issue linking permission if you don't have a issue linking permission then you can't make a relationship or make a link between two issues so it is very necessary to have the issue linking permission to perform this action okay so let's come back here you can find out where you can uh, check what is the meaning of the outward and the in inward description as i have already told you uh, what's the meaning of outward and inward description and here you can see the link type comes with the three properties i have already told you like name outward and the inward description now come back to this one and here you can see we have the two action added and delete when you will come and click on the edit you can change the name you can change the outward description and the inward description if you need it 
otherwise there is no need to touch anything and, and here you can see we have some finish to finish link finish to start like which is coming from the add-on WBS Gantt because in my instance I have this w, WBS Gantt that's why some of the issue link type is coming from that particular app so here you can see and if you want to add a new link type then here you have an option you can write down the name outward link description and the inward link description and just click on this add button like this you can add a new link type so this is the way you can add new link type if you want to delete you can if you want to add it then you can also do with the help of this added action now the one thing that i want to tell you you can change the order of the issue link type also for this you have to go to the system setting and then you have to do this change so how you will go there you will click on this setting icon then you will click on the system and then click on the advanced setting here when you will search the jira.issue then you can find jira.view.issue links.short order here and you can change type status priority and if you want to like put label something like that that you can do it and you can separate these things with the help of the comma this is how you can change the order of your issue link type that's all about the issue linking in jira if you are a user then you know how you can make a relationship between two issues and if you are a jira admin then you know how you can activate deactivate add new link add it and delete those issue link types i hope you found this video useful then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel. You can also press the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my latest video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day and we will meet again in our next video. Thank you.